हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू अ न्यू डे एंड अ न्यू वर्ड सो आई हैव आई एम ट्राइंग माय बेस्ट यू नो टू कीप अप टू दिस कमिटमेंट दैट आई कैन ब्रिंग अ फ्रेश न्यू वर्ड फॉर यू ईच डे बिकॉज यू नो बाय नाउ वी नो द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द वर्ड ऑल राइट एंड वी नीड अ डेली डोज सो दैट वी कैन फंक्शन वेल सो दैट यू नो बिकॉज because we are in this world and we are exposed our soul is exposed to so much of unnecessary stuff you know and that's why we need the cleansing of the soul we need to cleanse bed but one thing you must remember is each day each day before you even begin the new day all right at night meditate on the word of god do your soul cleansing whatever uh, toxins that you have accumulated throughout the day in your soul needs to flush out and the only way that can be washed is by the entrance of the word so when you uh, allow the word to come inside of you you know automatically every uh, everything that you that has happened in the whole day throughout the day you know and that has left might be any kind of wounds on your soul or you have just taken in too much of toxins you know like even for for that matter the news that we listen to and the things that are happening in the world okay so everything needs to just be cleansed and might be you've just you know gotten a little bitter in the day or a little irritable in the day whatever it is okay so don't leave it unattended you need to uh, hear the word of god cleanse your soul and get yourself ready for the next day because many of us lose out on opportunities only because we are not ready for them and the bible says the word of god says that each day i load you with blessings each day there is some or the other opportunity that the lord wants to bring our way but we need to be ready for that okay so when your soul is in the right place you're ready for it all right so you got to keep this in mind anyways today i want to talk to you about doing things differently okay since you know we cannot a maturity is when you begin to respond rather than react all right that is maturity and that is spiritual maturity and we need to move towards spiritual maturity because that's when that's that's a um, a sign that your soul is no longer the same you know your soul is now in a much in a much uh, better condition and when your soul is prospering everything else around you automatically prospers okay so um you know doing things differently and today doing things I, i'm uh, you know when i'm talking about doing things differently yes there is a lot of uh, stuff that i have to talk about but today specifically i want to speak about you know dealing with people okay and we must learn at this point of our lives we must learn how to uh, give grace to people and we must learn how to deal with people and how to maintain a relationship with people okay listen you got to understand that we are living in a world of people there are going to be people around you and not necessarily that everybody is going to align to you and your temperaments okay there are you are going to come across absolutely unreasonable people and that's what we do right the day the time you forget in the house outside the house sometimes we have to deal with with you know um an unreasonable temperament of people okay and but it's high time that we need to understand how to give grace to people and why is it important for our lives beloveds because the lord you know um, the bible says that jesus had favor with god and man all right so god wants to see how you handle your relationships with man because in order to get you your miracle he will have to use a man right he cannot come down himself and do it for you he will have to uh, bring your miracle to you through a man in most cases yes you know he could not just just have his son just drop down from heaven no he had to use a womb of a lady okay so that's why it's very important that we must understand that um 
this is a very important aspect that i need to know how to give grace to people because that opens doors for my miracles to come to me okay that opens doors and i'm telling you this particular um, aspect has really really worked in my life because me as a person i did not i am not even right now i'm not very excellent in dealing with people but that is what the lord is teaching me that you will need people okay and if we don't know how to treat people right and if we don't know how to give grace to people firstly we are not the lord cannot trust us because he says you know what you you cannot handle your relationship with with people and i cannot bring you your miracle through those people why because you don't know how to handle it and the second place you don't know how many opportunities you are sabotaging how many you know you you just look at somebody and might be you know what we just we just judge people we just come to a conclusion that oh my god what good is this one for me okay so it's all right i really don't have to pay attention towards it's my attitude you know with with this person because any which way is what good is this person for me but you never know where your miracle is coming from you just don't know where your miracle is coming from but that's the that's the real thing okay like like god can you cannot put god in a box all right you cannot put god in a box you don't know from where your miracle is coming anyways so uh, i want you to focus on how you react how you how you respond to people stop reacting stop reacting yeah there are moments where we get irritable and there are moments that people you know do things that that cause us to get angry but it's not see getting that feeling of anger is not a problem getting that feeling of irritability is not a problem okay but the problem really is when you allow that in your action when you allow that anger to show in your action when you begin to behave with that anger when you begin to take decisions when you begin to react with that anger then that's a problem then god knows that you are not ready and he knows that he cannot give you people to handle and he cannot no he cannot use people to bring in your miracle why because you don't know how to deal with people okay so that's what i'm saying it's not you know uh, jesus through his lifetime there was so much that he had to deal with you know when it comes to people they they were absolutely unreasonable but you got to control yourself because you are not at the end of it harming them you're harming your soul you're harming your destiny so whether whoever it is you know and most time most of the times we have more conflicts with with our close ones with our loved ones okay it's not as much with the outsiders as much of friction we have with the people who are living with us all right so i feel it's high time that we need to curb this we need to fix this particular issue okay you know when you when you know that there are you know you 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 are uh, they're triggering you to get into an argument okay yes you get irritated at that time that you know why are they doing things that i don't like but i don't have to react no longer will i react i will respond and i will respond not not for you but i will respond for my own good i will respond for my soul's sake i will respond so that i move into my destiny and i don't stay in the same place okay so beloveds you need to know that the problem is not you getting the feeling that moment of of anger that that feeling of anger but you got to stop right there you got to uh, suppress that anger you got to drown that anger and then you got to move with grace move with grace it's not easy it's not easy but you still got to move with grace it's better to just keep quiet if you if you know that you know your levels of anger is so much just keep quiet wait until you have the right response wait until you have the right response and you know i'll tell you something listen foolish people immature people okay and that's what we were we all were foolish immature why because we reacted we reacted that and that is a trait of a foolish person but the one who has strength of soul who is spiritually mature don't they don't react we can wait we can wait for a good time to respond
people are never going to be on the same page with you all right there are always going to be difference of opinion and let me tell you um, something some article that i read i think on instagram and i want to share this with you it really made a lot of sense to me okay uh, there was a donkey okay who kept saying that the grass is blue and the tiger kept saying that the grass is green now they had a long argument okay then the tiger decided let's go to the king all right let's go to the lion and let's ask him to fix the situation and give us a verdict on this so when they went to the lion okay the donkey started to put his case before him and said that you know what if i am right you must punish the tiger and the lion did so he said yes the the grass is blue and he punished the tiger and said that you know for a few months a few days you are going to keep quiet you're going to live in silence you, you are not allowed to talk okay now when the donkey went away the tiger went and confronted the lion and said that you very well know that the grass is green then why did you uh, deny it and above it you also gave me a punishment and the lion said yes i know that the grass is green but i had to punish you because you wasted my time you wasted my time and uh you know the lion said how did i do that he said you know listen listen are a tiger you have come down to the level of that of that donkey okay and you are trying to argue with that donkey see the difference between both of you you know sometimes we try to argue and try to even um, you know bring forth uh, proofs okay we try to uh, show and try to convince people who are never going to understand they are never going to understand your aspect they are never going to understand your perception however wonderful your idea your plan your perception your view about it is but they don't have the capacity to understand you all right so every time you speak to them about the real things about the intelligent things they will um, you know argue debate with you and there is no there is no point of getting into a spat with them because it is useless it is useless they they you know we try to argue a lot and you know arguments usually happen when we are trying to speak to somebody whose mental capacity and his mental level is not like yours so you got to understand when you realize that there is somebody that you cannot you know you're trying to give him the best okay but if that person is not in that mindset to receive that from you you got to stop you must stop because if you go on and on arguing you're going to waste your time you're going to unnecessarily get bitter you're going to cause wounds on your soul you're going to lose your anointing your power you're giving your power to that person okay that person is stealing away your anointing and your power so we must understand that there are people in this world that they will never understand your side and your perspective however brilliant it is so that's the time that you just leave them you leave them don't work too hard for them don't work too hard to get your point through because they are never going to understand never okay so that is what it is beloved we need to give grace to people we need to give grace to people only because the father in heaven god must you know be able to understand that you have come to a level of maturity where he can give you people to handle and where he can allow your miracles to come through people now another another thing that you come across is you see there are a lot of people who are very ungrateful like that's the pattern of their lives that's the pattern of their lives they move in lot of ungratefulness okay like um, you know leave alone thanking the lord yes we thank the lord everybody thanks the lord for all the good things that god has done but we forget to appreciate the people and the source through which he has brought that goodness to us okay we forget to do that now the problem is that that that's a soul wound right there many many people feel oh my god that's their duty they sh- they must do it for us there is no must do it nobody you know is obligatory to get you something no 
if they have done some good to you you better appreciate them and be grateful be thankful whatever it is you know for that matter even you know uh, like i my my house help okay just two days back my house help got me some uh, some some things okay she got me some things and they were very very nice very uh, pretty all right and she got me uh, a little gift but i got to be appreciative of that i can't be saying that oh my god you know what i am uh, you got to do it for me you got to do it for me now that's the problem right there nobody has to do anything for you nobody has to do anything for you if they are doing it it's out of their goodwill and you should be grateful and when you're grateful for these gestures and you're thankful i thanked her and i was really so um, overwhelmed by with with her act that i really wanted to appreciate her okay so when you're grateful to people you will be you will see people do good to you you will see favor come in your life you will see people who you meet they they're just leaving leaving favors with you they're just leaving things with you and they're just leaving uh, you know goodness with you now that is what we need to understand that is what we need to understand you know when you begin to appreciate people for what they have done they you will begin to see favors in your life you will begin to see that all those who come into your life they have left some goodness in your life they have left some benefit in your life and why does that happen why does that happen because you are a person who appreciates and you are a person who's grateful for the goodness that people do to you okay you don't just say oh my god god has done it yes god has done it but god has used a source and you got to appreciate that source all right and whatever you are thankful and grateful for will multiply in your life you will see you will never be without help whenever you need help you will get you know whether it be um, helpers that you need in your in your house in your workplaces wherever you will find good people you will find why because you know how to handle people you know even with the with your with the people who treated you bad now you have learned to give them the grace and that's why the good people and and you know people uh, good people multiply in your life uh, divine destiny helpers can walk into your life and also favor of people will multiply in your life okay so that's what i wanted to to leave you with today that we must change we must change the way we treat people however horrible you might feel at that time but learn to give grace because that's working for you okay so i'm just leaving you with this word stay blessed and have a wonderful day ahead